Hello girls and guys, today we are starting our project. Then, as I said in the last video, we are going to create a project so you can see what we are learning here and what are the next content that we can have available. Then let's start by creating our project. Then the first step is to install Meteor, if you don't have Meteor, because we are going to use Meteor. Meteor is a JavaScript platform where you can develop with Node.js in the server and you can develop with JavaScript in the client. And it makes it really easy for you to get started, to connect your components, and you're going to see this in this series. Then first you need to go to Developers, Install, and you, if you're using macOS or Linux, you can just copy and paste this command. I already have Meteor on my machine, then I'm not going to do this, but it's just going to download and install Meteor in your machine. And if you're using Windows, you need to use the Chocolate, that is the package manager, that's going to install Meteor. And then you can just run Choco install Meteor. And that's it. When you do this, and we are going to have Meteor command available in your terminal, like here. Okay, then I don't, I'm not in a Meteor project, then it's just explain to me how to create my project. Then let's create our project. And you have a few options available in Meteor. Then let's go to a specific folder here. Like let's go to documents, Philippi, workspace. It's just any folder that you prefer. And then I will create a folder called, oh, I don't need to create a folder, sorry. Then we are going to create the project. Then Meteor create. And the, the domain that we are going to use is how to create an app.dev, right? Then I'm going to call this repo how to create an app. It's a little bit long, long name, but I think it's okay. And if you do like this and you just hit enter here, then Meteor is going to load the versions that are necessary and everything like selecting the packages because Meteor is doing all the work for you. You don't need to do anything to use Meteor in the first place. Then just wait like a few seconds, is installing any PM dependence for you. And that's it, it's ready. Then let me go to this folder. And here you can also see that we have other options. And we are going to use React here. And then first, maybe it would be better to use this command, but let's see what you have right now. Then if I go here and I do like Meteor, and then it's going to, to run my app for the first time. I hope I don't have any process in the same part. Otherwise you are going to have an error. Yeah, it's building my app. Yeah, Meteor has a cool feature where you can develop the same code, but you can deliver different versions for old browser and for modern browser automatically. And you can disable these in development. If you don't want to test an old browser, we can do this later. But for now, let's copy this URL and paste in our browser. And that's it. You have your first app available. But this app is using Blazy. That's also a framework for UI like React. But I prefer to use React. Then I'm going to return here. And instead of using like this command, Meteor create, how to create an app, I'm using dash dash react. Then Meteor already add some dependencies for me, then I don't need to worry about this. Then I'm going to remove the first one that I just created. And I'm going to add this with dash dash react. Okay, just wait a little bit. It's the same process. It's going to find the packages, then to install the NPM dependencies, and then you have your project running. And I will put CD, how to create an app. You can see like this command is also here to go to the folder, how to run. And you also have the link for the tutorials. And you have like how to deploy your app. You are going to do this pretty soon. And okay, then I have here my app again. You see like it will be pretty much the same, like the result in the browser but the technology that is used is React and not, uh, not Blaze. Then it's the framework for UI that I prefer, but you can go with Blaze. You have a lot of people using Blaze. You can go with Vue, with Svelte, with Angular. You can do whatever you want. And you don't need to use the create-react. You can just change it later, like in the files. We are going to check the files, but it's just easier. If you already know that you are going to use React, create using dash dash react. Then if I refresh here, you can see it's the same app, but it's not the same technology behind it. And let's take a quick look and then we can wrap up this video because we have already our app running locally. And that was the goal for this video. Then let me open WebStorm. I was working on another project here, but let me open 
the project that you just created. And then you just go open documents, the same structure like Philip workspace, how to create an app. You can use VS code. I prefer to use WebStorm. I even have a blog post about it, like why I use WebStorm. Uh, VS code missing features. If you want to check, if you want to read more about it, maybe you agree with me, maybe you, you don't, that's okay. Then I, I justify here why I'm using WebStorm. It's not like a very new post, it's from 2018. Maybe some things have changed, but I still believe WebStorm is the best ID for you to work with JavaScript. And then you have a few files here that I can go over pretty quickly. Like we have a special folder that's called .meter. Then every meter project has this folder. As you have like dot a lot of other frameworks and platforms, you also have this dot meter. Usually you should not care about this folder, but a few useful files that you have here, you have the packages. The meter already add a lot of packages for you. Then it's going to be very easy to get data with React, for example. We also have these platforms that you are going to use the server and the browser. And you're going to see later that you can also add like iOS and Android, that's pretty cool. And you have the release, that is what version of Meteor I'm using. Because if you go here to meteor.com one more time, you can see this is the current version and you can see also the release notes. And this is very helpful because you can understand what's going on, what's coming next. And as you can see, like you have release of Meteor like very frequently and we are also always adding new features and new cool stuff for you to use. And if you have some breaking chains, in most of the case, they are very minor. They are not going to affect you or just you just need to change one or two things. It's very rare to have break chains on Meteor. You can see it's just like a concern. It's not really a breaking chain, this one. But the good part is that you have everything very well documented here. Then if you want to migrate your Meteor project that was using like 1.8, you can just read this document and you can migrate. And it's straightforward. Uh, all the time, like we try to avoid the break change as much as possible. And when you do, we have a very clear explanation. Like this example is a good example because you can see it's not a breaking change, but the internal package that you change here, it's using the DNS to be resolved in a different way. Then we're just warning you, maybe if you need this function to work as it was before, but it's not a breaking change, but you try to be very careful. Then like Meteor is, is, is a very good place to to be and to improve your app as well. And here the versions is just like when Meteor see these patches, Meteor try to resolve all the versions. And in some cases, like some patches have other packs that they depend on, then the other packages are also going to be included here. And we have the package JSON, like as any other uh, JavaScript project. And we already have React here because we use the dash dash React. And we have the server code here that we start up the server. We'll talk about this later. We also have the API here where you have your collection. You also have your React components and you also have our client. And remember, I'm going here like a little bit faster than usual because this series is for us to create how to create an app.dev. Then if you want to learn this more step by step and with more details on each step, we have specific videos for each topic. And if you don't have this video yet, you're going to see in the list. That's why we're building this website, how to create an app.dev. Then you can see, okay, this topic is coming. This topic is not coming now. Then that's the idea. Then here are just building the app. Then I'm not going to explain every detail here because that's not the idea. The idea is this is a project. Then you can watch me creating a real project for you to use, to learn. Then it's kind of a making of of re how to create an app, then it's a backstage, okay? Then the idea here is not to explain everything, but I'm going to code all the time for this project recording. Then in the end, we are going to have a project that's working, that's production ready, and all the code was done here, recording in this series, okay? That's it guys for today and girls as well. And I hope you like it and leave your comments below and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.